Oh, I just modded my controller. That little tiny, uh, resistor there. I have just replaced with this big tube resistor, which is double the value of that resistor. It's hard to see what's under here, but you have different pads for soldering different connections for different voltages. And by doubling the resistor across the pad that was used, I should have dropped the low voltage cutoff to half. And the reason why I had to drop my low voltage cutoff is this says it's for 36 volt. It says right there, 36 volt. The thing cuts off at 37 volts. So now by doing this, it should drop all the way to 20 volts and I'll have to keep an eye on it to make sure I don't over discharge my batteries. If you have a BMS and lithium batteries, you actually don't need a low voltage cutoff in here because your, your battery will cut off. But I use lead acid for my solar setup. So I had to reduce, the, reduce it with whatever I had. I have board mounting resistors, but I didn't have the value I needed, so I had to go with that big ugly tube resistor. So the only thing left to do is hook this up, see if I foobarred it, and see if my low limit actually drops down low enough to actually use my batteries. Well, I got the uh, controller put back together, I did the bare minimum to hook it up. And I'm pretty sure I am totally successful without even going for a test ride. Because my green light never lit up before. Because it thought I was at 48 volt. Oddly, it says lithium 36 volt. Everything I ordered seemed to be wrong. But, it actually moves. It works. So the only thing I can do now is test to see at what voltage it cuts off at. Should be lower now.